Hey guys, it's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing the very, very requested how I edit my Instagram photos. This has been so requested since I mentioned it in my last vlog. So I wanted to make sure I got it up ASAP for you guys. And yeah, now here we are. So if you guys want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, then just keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications if you're new here. And yeah, I have all my social media right here, so let's get into it. Okay, so usually you guys are probably going to be surprised. I used to edit on like ViscoCam and all these different editing apps, but now I literally just use Instagram since I found like my holy grail filter. So I'm on my Instagram page right now, and as you can see, I kind of have like a pink tone to all my photos. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it started like right about here my shoot with Bryant. So like all these photos. This photo my sister took of me at Coachella, it turned out kind of cute. I felt like I didn't have to face tune or edit it. So I just load that straight onto Instagram and I use the filter Aiden. It kind of gives like a pink tan overcast and I really like how it looks. So once you tap it, you can see the difference. And then I usually just go to the edit tool and I bring the brightness down quite a bit. I bring my contrast up a little bit. Maybe I'll bring the brightness up a little bit more. Um, I bring the warmth, a little bit of saturation. And that's basically all I really do. I play with highlights and shadows sometimes. Not normally though. Um, and yeah, that's like the first photo done and then I just post it. I don't take that much time on my Instagram because I feel like it's not the most important thing in the world to me. So I just kind of play around with what I think will look cool. Um, so that's the first thing. I'll show you guys with another photo what that would look like. So with this selfie, I posted this selfie a while ago before I started editing this way, so I didn't even know about this, so let's see how this filter looks. Sometimes I don't even like how it looks, um, but yeah, I guess I kind of like that. So I just kind of like play around with the warmth, the saturation. So that's how I do those. I'll show you guys one more with that filter. So this little picture was for a thumbnail. Use that same filter. It makes me a little bit tanner, which I like, especially when I bring down the brightness. Contrast, I feel like I want to bring the highlights up a little, shadows maybe down, um, a little warmth, a little saturation, and then bam, next photo is already completed. So I kind of just like doing stuff like that, um, little edits. If I want to actually edit a photo, go to my editing little thing and I'll just use the app Facetune. I'm sure you guys know what this is. Let's say I want to do this one. I took this little selfie right before I started filming this video. And it's okay, I don't love it. Um, I would probably smooth parts of my skin, maybe like around my lip and like my smile lines. I don't know, just like play around with the smooth thing. Just make my skin less oily. Probably like about all I would do though. So yeah, I'd probably do something like that. Maybe detail my eyes at the ends right there so the makeup looks like a little bit more poppy. Um, I'll never construct my jaw or move my nose or enhance my lips. If I feel the need to do that, I just won't post the photo at all. Like I said in my last vlog, like before I post this, I would like severely do something to my nose. Like if I felt that way, I just wouldn't post the photo. You know what I mean? And then also I don't really like how there's like a little bit of hair right there. <laughs> Joke's on me, I don't even know how to get rid of that. I think you can go to patch. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, i just kidding. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, that's all I do for Facetune, basically. I just mostly smooth my upper lip because I have freckles on it and sometimes I don't like how that looks in photos. I'll go back to my Instagram. I'll choose that photo that I just edited and then I'd go to my filter. Oh, I love this filter. And then I'd bring the brightness down a little bit. Maybe the contrast up. Maybe the warmth. Maybe the saturation. And bam, it's edited. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy. Here, I'm just going to screenshot it because I don't want to post it because you guys are quick. Um, I might even go to Visco. Ignore that there's like the Instagram filter. And I might go to edit and I might use the grain tool to make it have like an old effect on it. And then I might save that instead. And then I might go back to Instagram and I might post it. I don't know, something like that. Sometimes I like putting a little grain on the filters, so that's what that one would look like. Oh, also this photo, which I already posted, but it's the one of me on a golf cart. So I might bring the brightness down a little bit, bring the contrast up, bring a little bit of warmth to the golf cart, a little saturation to the golf cart photo, maybe play with the shadows. I just kind of see how I like it. And then it kind of gives that like, I don't know, pinkish tan overview. 
overcast a little hue and then I post it and that's pretty much it I used to also really like this filter on visco cam which I'll show you guys because we're here so why not it was called 06 Ooh, I still like how that looks just kind of enhances it gives a little bit of color I might take the contrast down in that photo so yeah it just gives it a little bit of color uh, so the only thing with 06 sometimes it gives like a green kind of filter I don't really know how to explain it so I might not like that but I think that looks cute and then I would just probably crop it since I kind of messed it up yeah I might just crop it like that and let it be kind of makes it less pink though so I don't know if it'd go with my flow but I don't really care about that as much so I think that looks pretty cute I probably won't end up posting this just because my whole Instagram is basically selfies at this point if you guys want to follow my Instagram this is it. We're almost at 900k, so let's see if this video can get me to 900,000. That would be crazy. I just kind of play around, but I guess the main thing I don't really do too much is like Facetune. I used to be really obsessed with Facetune. I went through a phase of Facetune. Let me show you. I went through it like right around this time. Like that photo from March 23rd. My skin was like all smoothed out and stuff. My eyes just look huge. I don't know what I did to this photo. I look like a creepy Bratz doll. This photo, I think I tried to add highlighter to my face. It just looks like my cheeks are white. Like, I have had some good Facetune fails, so now we keep it natural here, especially since I don't want to put an unrealistic image out there, if you know what I mean. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It means so much to me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I love you guys. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, you guys can click the link obviously in the description box and I also have all my socials right here per usual. So thanks for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah.